Hey guys, welcome back. 66, man, it's a big important number. Probably to somebody out there somewhere. Maybe to you. Maybe that's the number of siblings you have. Maybe you're a large family. I don't know. Maybe that's how old you are still in this class. You've not done very well at math, so you're still homeschooling at that age anyway. So after today, you're done with 55% of the entire book. Okay, or I think that's almost half. So anyway, all right, let's multiply mixed numbers. Remember what mixed numbers are. They mix an integer and a fraction, right? They get to be kind of a pain unless you do a certain thing first. And uh, we'll just take these steps down. If you want to write these down, again, in your uh, you know notebook, and you should have some kind of a, you know, if you can, go here, boom, boom, and then there's your 65. You can go back and look at this anytime you forget how to do it. So let's do it. All right. Three steps for adding and subtracting, uh, fr uh, subtracting fractions first. Uh, find a common denominator. You can copy, you can, you know, pause this and copy if you want. Add or subtract. Reduce. Be sure to floss and brush your tongue also. Oh, I'm sorry. No, never mind. That's how to brush your teeth. Yeah. Don't forget that whole thing. All right. All right. Three, uh, four steps for multiplying fractions first. Write it in fraction form. Second, multiply your numerators, then your denominators. Okay. Remember, when you're multiplying fractions, you don't care what you don't have to do. Oh, common denominator doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Reduce and convert that to a mixed number. And when you get into algebra in a couple of years, what you're going to do instead is leave a, leave your answer like seven thirds or something like that. Usually because it's easy to go and stick this back into the equation and see if it works. But at this point, just you know, if it's a, if it's a number like that, convert that to a mixed number. Seven divided by three. Did I mention? The, I, I did. Yes. Okay. Is seven divided by three is two, with one left over. So two and one third. Okay. All right. Let's do one. Multiply two and two-thirds times four. Well, let's make this look fraction-y first. So two and two-thirds, let's make that into an improper fraction. Three times two is six plus two is eight-thirds times, I'm going to use a dot here, four as a fraction will be four over one. So eight times four, three times one, 32 divided by three is 10, and then there's two left over, so 10 and two-thirds. There we go. All right. Two and a half times one and one third. You try it. Pause it and try that. Do the same exact steps we just did. Pause it and try it. Okay. You should have got five halves times one and a third. That's four thirds. And if you want to, you can do that and then cancel that out. That's going to be two. Five times two is ten divided by three. Well, ten divided by three is three. And there's one third left over. And there we go. Okay. All right. Try your practice problems. That's all there is to it. We've got uh, nine of them. So pause it and try A. All right, A is one. That's three halves times two thirds. Pause it and try B. Okay, B is one and one fourth. That should be five thirds times three fourths. That's gonna be five over four. You would knock the threes out and there we go. Okay, pause it and try C. All right, that'll be two and a half. That is three halves times five thirds. Pause it and try D. All right, D is just five. Five thirds times three is, you can knock out the threes and just because it's gonna be five over one, which is five. Pause it and try E. That'll be five halves times eight thirds. That's six and two thirds. Okay, pause it and try F. All right. It's going to be five and one fourth. Five and one fourth. All right, pause it and try G. Okay, G will be ten thirds times five thirds. That is 50 over nine, which is five, and then five left over, right? Five and five nines. Pause it and try H. That'll be five and a half. Last one. Pause it and try I. And of course, that's just seven. 2 over 1 times 7 over 2. The 2 is getting knocked off, and then you have 7 over 1 as your answer. Okay, have a great day. Knock out the problems, and uh, see you next time. Take care.